Hi folks, it's Chris, welcome back. Today I want to show you a very simple way to personalize the amazing software Stellarium and put your own personal background into the software. This will help to plan your sessions in beforehand, as you will be able to predict when targets vanish behind a tree or appear behind the neighbor's roof. It is very easy, you need nothing. Just your smartphone, no programming skills and I'd say let's go! First of all, a short reminder. Stellarium is a planetarium software that enables you to search through the night sky for planets and nebula or galaxies and enter your camera and telescope specification to see what objects matches your hardware setting. Stellarium is a must-have for us to newcomers. I highly recommend it. For further information, click the link in the description below or up there, I got you covered. But to further increase the planning of your upcoming session, it would be nice to exactly pin down when targets will be behind trees or behind the roof of the neighbor's house. That would be cool. To make this possible, Stellarium allows for importing panoramic images of your backyard into the software. And after doing so, your software will turn into this. This is my backyard. Every house, the garage, every tree, every twitch. That's so cool. How to do so? First, we need a panoramic image of your backyard. These days, this is no wizard's work. All we need is a smartphone in panorama mode. For simplicity, Stellarium is preset to start your image due east on the left side of the panoramic image. It's not super important, we can fix that later on, but if you have the opportunity, start due east on the left side of your image, turn south, west, north, and end east again. Second trick to increase precision, try to take the panoramic image from exactly that point where your telescope normally stands. I mean, no need for centimeter precision, but the nearer the better. So finally, if you took the panoramic image of your backyard, we need to edit it a bit to fit the requirements of Stellarium. First of all, I open the image in Paint.net. That is my favorite software for easy and intuitive image manipulation. It's free, it's super cool, it's easy to use, just give it a try. Link for Paint.net down in the descriptions. Okay, Stellarium requires exactly the image size of 2048 times 1024 pixels and a pixel density of 72 pixels per inch. To rescale the image into the requested size, we press Image Resize, where we enter 2048, but leave Maintain Aspect Ratio checked, otherwise Paint.net will squish the image. Enter 72 pixels per inch as well and OK, there we go. After this process the image is only 300 or something pixels high. So we open Image, Canvas Size, center the image in the middle and then give the new height at 1024. But this time aspect ratio unchecked because we want to create new empty space and not distort the backyard. Paint.net will fill the new area with white and this is not exactly what we want. Okay, our new wonder tool is the magic wand. We want to delete everything that is not the obstructions. So no houses, no trees, but everything else like the sky, clouds. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Click on the white area and level the tolerance until you just select the white area and maybe some sky stuff, but not the roofs and not the trees. If you're satisfied, press delete. Repeat that with other sky segments until yeah, you deleted everything, but make sure to spare every tree and every building, that is important. You don't know whether you deleted every sky part of the image, there's a clever trick. Just add a new layer in paint.net, place the layer under the background and fill it with a bright green. Okay, now you can see every remaining part of the sky, that's super cool. Click back on the layer of our image and then select every remaining cloud or sky part with a magic wand or refine your work with the eraser tool. Resize that tool if necessary using that slider. Satisfied with the image? Okay, okay. Let's do something with that floor part there. To make it more pretty down there, I just select a tiny strip of the lower image and use move select pixel tool to rescale it over the complete lower part of the image. I mean, okay, that doesn't really look very cool. Okay, we keep it selected and choose Effects, Blur and Gaussian Blur and something like 30 as a value. This step is not necessary, but I think it looks much better now. 
Okay, the image is nearly ready. Don't forget to delete the green background and then save the image as whatever you like. Chris hometown or Chris backyard dot PNG. That's important. Keep everything default and press save. Okay, since we finished with the image, we still need to implement it into the software Stellarium so that Stellarium can use it. But doing so is actually pretty straightforward. Open up your favorite editor app. Under Windows, it's the editor app and then copy those lines in the new file. I put those lines down in the video description so that you can copy it. You just need to fill in your name and the name of your location and the name of the panoramic image. That is very important. Then you click save as and save the file as landscape.ini in the same folder as your panoramic image. Please watch careful that the image file name in the landscape.ini and the actual file name of your panoramic image do match. And yeah, that is it. The only thing that's left to do is to zip the two files into one zip file. I use WinRAR, it's an amazing free software, but you can use WinZip or any other software as well. Name the zip file like hometown.zip and there you go. Now, simply fire up Stellarium and open Sky and Viewing Options menu. There click Landscape, click Install or remove new landscape and choose your file.zip file. And if everything is set correctly, your landscape will now appear. Don't forget to click Set Landscape as default to make Stellarium open up this landscape on each startup. Okay, I mean your own landscape into Stellarium, wow! So if your panoramic image starts due east on the left side of the image and if you took the image roughly at the same place and height where normally your telescope stands, that should be pretty much it. For fine-tuning the alignment between your real backyard and the backyard that is presented within Stellarium, you need to do one more step. You need to go out at night and say take your smartphone and take a night mode image or your DSLR and a long exposure image from exactly the same point where normally your telescope is standing. I took an image due south, but I don't think that really matters. The only important thing is that you write down the exact time you took the image and that any stars are in that image. Then open up Stellarium, enter the exact time you took that image and then compare the sky within Stellarium and your image of the real sky. Sometimes the match is not perfect and so you need to readjust the left-right or azimuth and up-down or altitude of your panoramic image. For altitude adjustment, for me the most easy way is to reopen the image file Select everything, move it up a bit, and then fill the missing gap at the bottom. For adjustments in left, right, open up the landscape any file and correct the angle rotated Z value. It's given in degrees and you need to guess here. I needed plus five correction for my image. To implement either of those corrections, delete the old hometown landscape in Stellarium, resip both files and re-import them in Stellarium. That's easy enough. And then you are ready to slew through the night sky and plan your session in beforehand. When is a galaxy behind a tree? When does my session start? When is Boat's galaxy going behind the neighbor's roof? And even how might a wide angle Milky Way shot look like in my backyard? And now you can answer all these questions with one click. And besides that, it just looks cool. Okay folks, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. And in the meantime, clear skies everyone. Until next time, here on Catching Photons.